Okay, students, welcome to our 13th ACT online learning. Okay, before we before I start, uh, I would like you to write down in the comment section your name, number, ID number and room number so therefore I could check the attendance later, okay? So meaning to say if you did not write your name there, meaning to say you are absent. All right, understand? Okay, now let's begin. So today we are going to study about grammar focus, time expression. So let's listen first. Page 12, exercise 9, grammar focus, time expressions. I get up at 7 o'clock in the morning on weekdays. I leave work early in the afternoon on Thursdays. I go to bed around 11 in the evening on weeknights. I get home late at night on weekends. I stay up until midnight on Fridays. I exercise before noon on Saturdays. I wake up after noon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. 7 a.m. equals 7 in the morning. 7 p.m. equals 7 in the evening. Okay, so let's start the discussion. So first thing we have vocab. The so first one is early. So the meaning of early is done before the usual expected time. So if I say we ate an early lunch, so meaning to say, we ate at 11 because normally we usually, we usually eat around 12 noon, okay? So early, early lunch, I ate at 11, we ate at 11. Second vocab, we got around. So the meaning of around is a specific hour, but not a specific time. So what is the meaning of this? So if I say, see you around 11 see you around 11 so meaning to say i'm going to see you around maybe from 11 to 12 all right so th there is no specific time but i'm going to see you maybe it's 11 10 11 20 or 11 15 or 11 30 it's not any specific time but the specific is hour all right so the next vocab is we have late. I get home late at night. I get home late at night. Very self-explanatory. So I normally get home by 7 p.m. I get home late at night. So maybe I, ar I arrive at home around 10 p.m. or 10 in the evening. Next vocab, until until I stay up until midnight I stay up until midnight very self-explanatory as well next is before I finished my homework before going to bed I finish my homework before going to bed okay next after it's another very easy vocab. I play mobile games after my homework. I play mobile games after my homework. So here it is, the discussion. Time expression on, we use that for days of the weeks. So we, we can use on Monday. I'll see you on Tuesday. Let's meet up on Wednesday. On Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay? And we can also use on, on weekdays. So what is the meaning of weekdays? When we say weekdays, that is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So if I'm going to use this in a sentence, I usually go to school 
on weekdays. All right? And when we say on weekends, that is end. Take a look. Weekends, end. So we got Saturday and Sunday. I usually stay at home on weekends. Okay? Now, next, we got in. So when do we use in? We usually use in in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. But we use at if we are going to use night. Okay? At night. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night. Okay? I have here Friday night. So what do you think is the right time expression for this? Are we going to use in, on, or at for Friday night? So which one do you think? Is it, is it on? Is it at? Which one do you think is correct? So the answer here is on. An explanation for that is Friday night. So Friday is the nearest to the word on. But we could use at night. But if it's the word or if it's the phrase Friday night, we should use on Friday night. Okay? Remember that, students. Next, at. We usually use at in telling time, like 7 a.m. At 8.30 a.m. At 10 p.m. Or we could use at 7 in the morning, at 1 in the afternoon, and at 10 in the evening. But take a look at this, students. Can I use this one? 7 a.m. in the morning. Do you think this phrase is correct? 7 a.m. in the morning. What do you think? So take a look. This is wrong, okay, students? Because as you can see, we already have a.m. in here. When, when we say a.m., meaning to say that is morning already. So no need to use in the morning, like 7 a.m. in the morning. It's supposed to be 7 a.m., or 7 in the morning. Same as just like this. 1 p.m. in the afternoon and 10 p.m. in the evening. That is completely wrong. It's not wrong, but it's redundant. Okay? Next. In our book activity, that would be on page 12. Okay, page 12 I of our interchange book. So letter A choose the correct word so number one I get up at until six so the answer is I get up at six now the next phrase is six blank on weekdays here I get up at six at or on week weekdays what is the answer so the answer is on weekdays okay so I want you to answer number two to number 12 okay and I'm going to give you five minutes to finish
all right last two minutes and 10 seconds Okay, less than one minute. Less than one minute. All right, so time is up. Let's proceed to the to the next book activity. So, in the lower part of your book, listening 10 or 10 listening, what hours do you work? So, you as you can see there, letter A listen to Aaron, Madison, and Kayla talks about their daily schedule complete the chart so meaning to say you are going to listen to the audio then you are going to fill the table you're going to write down information in the table for Aaron's job Aaron's job is carpenter what about Madison and Kayla okay so you have to listen very carefully also gets up what time does Aaron gets up Madison is 7 a.m. How about Kayla? Gets home. What time does Aaron gets home? Also Madison and Kayla. Goes to bed. Aaron, Madison, and Kayla. Alright, so I'm going to play the audio once. And then I'm going to repeat it for the second time. And right after that, I hope everyone is finished. Alright? Page 12. Exercise 10. Listening. What hours do you work? Part A. Listen to Aaron, Madison, and Kayla talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Aaron? I'm a carpenter. Oh, yeah? So what hours do you work? I work eight hours a day from Monday to Friday. I get up around 6 a.m and I work from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. I get home pretty early, about 4 p.m. I go to bed at 10. And what do you do, Madison? Well, I'm an accountant. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Kayla? Well, my hours are a bit different. I'm a nurse. I start work at 11 at night. I work until 7 a.m. Wow, so what time do you get up? 
I get home at 8 and go to bed at about 8.30, and I sleep until 4 p.m. And what do you do in the evenings? Oh, you know, I have dinner, watch TV, see friends. It's a great schedule for me. Okay, so in there, I'm going to give you a hint. Kayla works in the hospital. She's a nurse, so she works at night. All right, so I'm going to repeat the audio once more, and I hope after this, everyone is finished. What do you do, Aaron? I'm a carpenter. Oh, yeah? So what hours do you work? I work eight hours a day from Monday to Friday. I get up around 6 a.m. and I work from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. I get home pretty early, about 4 p.m. I go to bed at 10. And what do you do, Madison? Well, I'm an accountant. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job. So I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Kayla? Well, my hours are a bit different. I'm a nurse. I start work at 11 at night. I work until 7 a.m. Wow. So what time do you get up? I get home at 8 and go to bed at about 8.30, and I sleep until 4 p.m. And what do you do in the evenings? Oh, you know, I have dinner, watch TV, see friends. It's a great schedule for me. By now, you should be finished in doing the listening. So that's, that's all for today. See you again next time, and... Don't forget to write down your name in the comment section. Write your ID number, room number, so therefore I could check your attendance, okay? So see you again next time, everyone. See you on our regular class. And by the way, we are going to check your book activity in our regular class. Okay, see you again, everyone. Bye.